Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3205. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, Elite and Frontier are up for a BAFTA nomination. The first great planetary expedition continues and Operation Ida repairs stations in record time. The BAFTA Games Awards 2019 played out last Thursday, with many games taking nominations across 17 different categories. Elite Dangerous Beyond and Frontier were nominated for a Best Evolving Game. Other games nominated within this category were Destiny 2, Fortnite, Overwatch, Sea of Thieves and Rainbow Six Siege. Fortnite ultimately took home the award. The BAFTA Games Awards are a pretty large event here in the UK, and if you missed the event and would still like to watch it, then you can find the full video linked in the description below. In related news, Steam currently have a BAFTA sale on, with some heavy discounts on a number of the nominations and winners. Elite Dangerous can currently be purchased for just £6.99 over on Steam, so if you fancy another copy, do go have a look. The Great Planetary Expedition continues after having launched on the 27th of March. This expedition is a little different to the typical affair, as it takes place entirely within an SRV. The idea is to completely circumnavigate a planet, that is, to fully drive around it. The planet in question is on the planet Kume in the Chi Hercules system, and the full route around the planet is estimated to be between 4,000 kilometers and 5,000 kilometers, so a pretty significant distance. And chances are, not many people out there have driven that type of distance all in one go. Now, whilst the expedition is now well underway, it is of course still possible to join in. If you want to head along and uh, catch up or at least get involved, then simply check out the forum thread linked below to find all the relevant details. The Thargoids continue to attack station after station within the inhabited space. Whilst there are literally tens of thousands of stations within the bubble, the relatively speaking low percentage of stations that have been hit are dramatically highlighted on the galaxy map. The good news is that at least a few players have been finding the attack interesting and have been undertaking station repairs. Operation Ida, along with a number of other players, have been repairing a significant number of stations in record time. All stations within the Pleiades star cluster have been fully repaired and the Operation Ida team have now moved on to repairing stations within the bubble. One of the most recent repairs was fully completed within just three days and this really is a massive achievement. For players wanting to get involved with Operation Ida, do check out the forum thread linked below. They're a great group of players and are certainly interested in more sign-ups. The new Frontier forums went online very recently, and a part of this set of updates was the launch of a new bug tracker. That didn't go live with the new forums as such, it came along a little bit later and is now fully available. So the new system, which Frontier are calling the Issues Tracker, is now fully online and ready to accept submissions from players highlighting any potential problems that they encounter within the game. From this site, players can submit issues, follow the status of your reports, see which issues have been reported by others, vote on which issues matter the most to you, search for specific reports and help contribute towards existing issues. The old bug reporting forums have now been closed and archived and as with the new forums, the issues tracker will be linked directly to your Frontier Store account. Again, as always, you know where to find the link. Distant Worlds 2 is well on the way towards Waypoint 10. Now, again, there was a mass jump that occurred at the end of the previous uh, Waypoint, and this was very, very nice indeed. There's always spectacular footage to be found here. In fact, this isn't just relevant to the uh, launch from Waypoint 10, but also Waypoint 9, as well as when the uh, expedition left from Sagittarius A. So if you want to look out at all these, if you want to check this type of footage, then do have a look in the video description. There's a whole bunch of video featuring uh, different jumps from different locations. In fact, one of the best ones is from YouTuber Ghost Draft, and you can see some of that on the screen right now. I highly recommend you take a look at this. It's a very nice video featuring some very good music by Tom Cook. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3305. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.